welcome to your yoga practice. My name is Sarah Fisher. I'm a licensed Ashaya yoga teacher and an ERYT 500 registered yoga teacher with Yoga Alliance. This practice is for your digestion. So it's time to digest. It's time to incorporate what's been coming at you. So maybe you've been spending a, a lot of time with a lot of people or you've have new information that it's time to integrate, or you just had a lot to eat. This practice will support you in aiding you to digest all of that on any level. Healthy digestion helps you take whatever is coming at you from the world, whatever you are consuming. It helps you bring it into you. It helps you figure out what is useful and that which is going to give you energy and support. It helps you to integrate that and it helps you let go of the rest. So we need healthy digestion so that you don't get stuck, so that you can keep a clear channel so that life force energy can continue to move through you with ease. Let's take a moment to center. With your hips settled onto your seat, rest your hands on your thighs, and then close your eyes and turn inwards for a moment. Notice your breath. And let your breath move with complete freedom. And then notice your body. Notice anywhere that it feels stuck. If you're incorporating new information, it may be that your mind is spinning. It's all right, just let it go. This practice will help your mind unwind. Or maybe your body's feeling sluggish or heavy. Same thing, just notice where you are. We'll see where you are by the end of practice. Let yourself open now to a bigger energy, to the transformative and integrative power of your heart. Your, power, your heart can expand to hold everything, it can integrate any information. channel for life to move through. Bring your palms up now, join them in front of you. We'll chant Om together one time to begin. Uttanasana. You can always bend your knees if you need to in Uttanasana. 
Inhale, reach your heart, reach your heart towards the front of the room. The next row, bend both knees deep, sweep your arms behind for a moment. So you sit back, and then inhale, lift your heart, reach your arms to the sky for Uttkatasana, chair pose, fierce pose. Take a deep breath in Uttkatasana. Exhale a little deeper, and then inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bow forward again into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, flat fold. Legs strong. Again, inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, bend your knees, sweep your hands behind. So take your torso parallel to the floor to start. Engage your low belly and then sweep your arms up to the sky. Move your front ribs in as you scoop your tail towards the floor. Reach downward through your legs as you lift all the way up through your fingertips. And then inhale, stretch your legs. Exhale, bow forward again into standing. Inhale, reach your heart towards the front. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach your heart towards the front. And again, bend both knees. Sweep your arms back. Take your spine parallel to the floor. Hug your leg muscles strongly around the bones of your legs. You sweep your arms up. Lift your torso. Come into chair. Pose Utkatasana. Fierce. When you engage the leg muscles, it starts to open up the digestive channels in the so we work the legs to help that open. Inhale, stretch both legs straight. Exhale and bow forward into standing forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach your heart towards the front of the room. Exhale, fold over. Bend both knees now. Place your hands down and step back into plank pose, the top of a push-up. Make your arms strong and your legs strong. Exhale, lower down slow. Press the tops of your feet down onto the mat and reach them back. And then reach your hands back behind your back, lengthen through your arm bones, uh, sorry, side waist, and then lift your heart, rise up for Shavasana Locust Pose. Take a breath or two in Locust. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands under your shoulders and curl your toes under. Go back to Down Facing Dog. You can go through a table as I'm demonstrating, or just lift yourself straight up and back into Down Facing Dog. A couple of breaths in downward facing dog. You may need to bend your knees a little to free up your low back. Totally fine with that. Every inhale, open to a bigger energy. Every exhale, let yourself release what's not necessary. When you inhale and exhale with smooth rhythm, and you get yourself sort of lined up, your body and your breath moving together, it helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And that is your rest and digest nervous system. When you're always on high alert in the sympathetic nervous system, it's hard to digest information or food. Things get sort of stuck. So instead, you want to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, calming nervous system. Inhale, sweep your right leg up into the air in three leg dog. And then exhale to step it through into lunge. Come up on fingertips to start and squeeze your legs strongly to the middle. Then inhale, hands to your hips, lift your torso, come up for warrior lunge or crescent lunge, it's sometimes called. Scissor your legs to the middle again. When the legs get strong, they help you to open up channels for digestion. So the legs stay strong, scoop your tail, lift your low belly, and then take both arms up with your shoulders back. From the core of your pelvis, push down into both of your feet and stretch your back legs strong. And from the core of your pelvis, rise upwards through your torso and up through fingertips, making lots of space through the midsection of your body. Listen carefully, lift your legs strong, reach way forward, step your back foot up to meet your front foot, and inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, bow, sweep your arms back again. Sorry, bow. Then bend your knees, sweep your arms back. Bring your palms together. Bring your left elbow to your outer right knee and twist towards the right. Keep drawing your left hip back. Lift your low belly in and up and take both shoulders back. Look over your right shoulder. Then 
Inhale, untwist, touch the mat, step back, plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Press the tops of your feet down, move your shoulders forward, curl your heart up, kind of do cobra pose. Reach your legs way back. Exhale, lower down, curl your toes under, go back down, facing dog, Adho Kashtanasana. Then come to the second side. Inhale, reach your left leg high into the air, three leg dog. Exhale, step it forward and through into a lunge. Make your legs very strong, hold steady to the middle, and bring your hands to your hips, lift your torso. Take a deep breath in and open. And make your back thigh higher, move it wide, and scoop your tail, move your low belly in and up. Take your shoulders back, reach your arms for the sky. Use your breath. what's not needed. Use your breath to help you pull in what supports you. So it's like food, you're drawing in the nutrients from the food. If it's information, you're drawing in what you need to know. And letting go of the anxiety or worry around it. Reach downward through your legs and upwards through your spine. And now exhale, reach way forward, step your right foot up to meet your left. Bow over. Uttanasana. And then bend both knees, sweep your arms behind, torso parallel, join your palms in front, take your right elbow to your outer left knee and twist. Tendency is for the right hip to come forward to help you. Keep your knees in line, keep your right hip back. Scoop your tail, lift your low belly, take both shoulders back, turn, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, release, place your fingertips to the or exhale, bow. Inhale, reach your heart forward, step back, plank pose, top of the up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, shoulders back, heart lifts. And exhale, curl your toes, lift yourself up and back down, facing dog, Adho Kasvanasana. Receive your breath and just feel the difference in your body, just have moving this much. Walk your feet slightly closer to your face. Plant your left hand firmly down, lift your right, take your right hand to your outer right shin or ankle, and then turn your torso underneath. Switch sides, take your right hand down, take your left hand to your outer shin or ankle. Turn, look under. Notice if you're twisting your hips a lot, see if you can keep your hips pretty balanced. Come back to the center. Walk your feet back that little bit. Take your right arm up, right leg, excuse me, to the sky. Exhale it through into lunge. Bring your back foot square to the back edge of your mat and line up your front heel with your back arch. Bring both hands on the inside of your front leg. Squeeze your leg muscles strong and roll your inner thighs back. And then scoop your tail, lift your low belly, and reach for the sky. From deep in your pelvis, take your arm up and over your ear for Parjvakanasana. So I'm doing it on the inside to get a little bit more hip opening variation. You can play with it. You can always have your fingertips on a block or forearm on the thigh if this would be a better option for you this practice. Bring your left fingertips down to the floor, turn to a lunge, and bring your left knee down onto the mat or onto a blanket on the mat. Curl your toes under. Take your right hand onto your right thigh, push down into your feet, lift your left arm up, torso comes up. Then bring your left elbow across. Join your palms. Squeeze your legs to the middle, scoop your tail, and turn your heart towards the sky. So you can stay here or lift your back thigh. Either one's fine. From deep in your pelvis, push down into your legs and lengthen through your spine. Turn your body. And then if you've lifted your back knee, lower it back down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. 
Sneak your back knee back just a little and stretch your front leg straight. Again, this is a good opportunity to add blocks under your fingertips if you have tight hamstrings, tight lower back. So right toes peel up. Push your right heel down into the mat like you're trying to flip it back towards you. And you'll notice that that engages your right hamstring. Keep your right hamstring engaged, widen at the tops of both thighs, lift up in your low belly, and take this as a little bit of a twist. So left forearm across your right shin, walk your right hand out to the right. So it's not a huge twist, but a little bit of a twist here. From your pelvis, lengthen out in all directions. You can stay there or bow over. Inhale, slowly lift yourself back up. Bend your front knee and step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg. And step it forward into lunge. Bring your right foot square to the back edge of your mat. Line up your left heel with the center of your right arch. And walk both hands on the inside of your left foot. Awaken to your breath and let it expand your torso. Then scissor your legs to the middle and take the tops of both thigh bones back in space. Scoop your tail under, lift up in your low belly. Bring your left hand right on the inside of your left shin and take your right arm to the sky, turn. Then take your right arm up and over your ear for Padmajra Konasana. From deep in your pelvis, reach down into your legs, down into the earth. That grounded quality actually helps you digest. It grounds you, it gives you a heaviness in the lower part of the body, sends energy down. What we need when we want to digest. Then exhale, touch the mat. Bring your back knee, sorry, uh, turn to a lunge and lower your back knee down onto the mat. You can put it on the mat or on a block, excuse me, not a block, a blanket. Put your left hand on your left thigh, squeeze your legs strong, inhale your right arm up. Exhale your right outer upper arm to the outer thigh of your left leg. Join your palms. Take a breath to squeeze your legs in, scoop your tail, and exhale, twist. Hug your shoulder blades on the back of your heart. Take the sides of your throat back. Keep turning. And you can stay there or lift your back thigh up. When you lift your back thigh, if you are, make sure it really lifts strong. And then the knee stays over the front ankle. Front knee over front ankle. Lower your back knee back down to the mat. Inhale, lift yourself off, untwist, and take your um, right knee just a couple inches back behind where it was. Slowly stretch your left leg straight. So left heel presses, press your left heel down into the mat. And I Isometrically pull it back like you're trying to slide it back towards you. Keep your leg muscles strong as you take your thighs a little wider. Lift your low belly, scoop your tail in, and stretch your bones away from you, away from your hips. And you take your right hand to your outer left shin. You always have your fingertips on blocks in this portion. And left hand a little wider, so it's a little bit of a twist through the right flank, the right back, and of course, left hamstring. Stay there or bow over. And inhale, slowly come up again, and step yourself back to downward facing dog. Come to lunge, and then step back, downward facing dog. Lower both of your knees down and come to find a blanket or a bolster or a block to sit on for a seated posture. 
you know that you don't need anything for your seated posture, it's completely fine not to do that. But for most of us, we need a blanket. Come to hands and knees in front of your blanket. You can keep your blanket facing the long end of your mat. I'm facing you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to mirror you now. I wasn't mirroring earlier, but I will now. Bring your right knee forward and into the center. Cross your left knee behind. Widen both of your feet and slowly sit back, coming toward to go mukhasana. In go mukhasana, your knees generally stack one on top of the other. Then take your feet towards the sides and flex your feet strong so much that just really the outer edge of your pinky toe is down onto the Roll your inner thighs down and wide, out to the sides, and then place your fingertips on the floor or on the blanket and sit up tall. If this is not available to you, sit in cross legged Similar position, just a little bit more crossed in this case. Keep anchoring your sitting bones down and lifting your low belly in and up low back in and up. Now take your left arm, I'm sorry, let's do this way. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath. Bring your left elbow to your right outer knee. So you're going to bow forward, left elbow, right outer knee, push down, and twist to the right. Lift your side waist off of your shoulders back, take your throat back. So you're not collapsed towards the floor, you're actually lifted up, but anchor your right hip down and twist in your belly. Get a hip opener and a twist at the same time. Inhale out and slowly lift yourself back off, release your hands back down. Come to hands and knees again, reach forward. Untwine your legs. And bring your left knee forward into the center. Take your right knee behind, tuck it in, and separate your feet and walk yourself back so that you sit on your blanket. Take your feet a little bit out to the sides. And then roll your inner thighs. It's tricky to get in here, but do your best. Roll your inner thighs out to the sides. So they go down towards the floor and out to the sides. It's an internal rotation. Sit up very tall, take your shoulders back. Notice how your sitting bones are heavy, but then move your low back in and up, your low belly in and up, so that's the scoop of your tail, and lift your ribs over top. Make your prana body full. Again, you can always do this as a cross-legged position if that's where your practice is today. Bring your palms together now in front of your heart. Inhale to grow ever so slightly taller and bring your right out, outer elbow to your left upper thigh. Twist, right outer elbow, left upper thigh. Watching out for really curling in and collapsing. Keep your spine long as you twist. Use the uh, leverage of your arm pushing on your leg to give yourself a little more turn. Spine long, take your shoulders back, and curl. Inhale, lift up, untwist, come back to the front and release your hands. Stay seated on your blanket, bring both legs forward. Internally rotate each of your legs. So they turn down towards the floor and the flesh comes out to the side from underneath. Even move the flesh to the sides of your buttocks so that you can sit down on your sitting bones and feel a grounded quality of connection with the earth. That groundedness, again, is encouraging um, everything that needs to be digested to just settle and filter down like muddy water settling down. What's left is the clear water on top sediment, the things that's not useful, down at the bottom. 
Bring your fingertips to the sides uh, of your body, either on the floor or on a blanket or block. Push down and slightly out to lift your ribs and take your shoulders back. So instead of here, lift shoulders back. Keep your legs strong. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale and bow forward to come to Paschimottanasana. Now you do not have to catch your feet. It's totally fine if you don't. You might be at your shins. Move your low back in first, then bow forward over top of your low back being in. If you easily catch your legs, lengthen through the sides of your ribs. Take the heads of your arm bones up and move your elbows out to the sides. So your torso is what comes through. Your arms and legs stay sort of away from the torso. I don't know if that makes sense. So heads of the arm bones stay back. The spine moves forward and through. Reach your legs forward. Reach your feet away from your hips. And extend the top of your head towards the top of your feet. From your pelvis, stretch out. Inhale. Slowly come back up. And now it's time to rest. So get your bolster and bring it to the center of your mat. Now with the bolster in the center of your mat, turn it so that it's long ways and just a little bit up towards the, the top of your mat so you have a little more space out on one end of the bolster. If you don't have a bolster at home, you can always use a stack of beach towels or a couch cushion, something like that. Come to hands and knees facing over your bolster, your hands on either side, and then bring your right hip to the bolster, both knees to the right. Stack your knees, stack your feet. Inhale and lift and lengthen your torso, and then turn your torso to face your bolster. <clears throat> Again, lengthen through your spine and then slowly walk your spine out uh, your belly out onto your bolster. You have choices here. Arms by your side. You can turn your head in the direction of your knees. That's a little more gentle. I prefer starting here. And then as the twist deepens, as the rest deepens, you may choose to lift your head and turn it away from your So you can feel for which one feels just right for you in this practice today. So close your eyes. Let your hips rest. Let your torso rest. Let even your shoulders rest. The arm bones might come a little bit forward. It's all right for a few minutes. Turn your head away from your knees, lift it up, and turn it back in the direction of your knees. Now walk your hands back just a bit, make your legs a little stronger. Make your hands and arms strong, and push down into the floor, slowly lift your torso back up, and switch sides. To switch sides, you can just turn away from your bolster and then turn completely to the other side. 
bring your left hip alongside the bolster. Bring your knees out ahead of your left hip to the left and stack your feet. Lift the sides of your ribcage and walk your hands on either side of the bolster. Lift up, turn towards the bolster so you are in a twisted position. And then walk yourself out. Again, start with your head facing in the same direction as your knee. And as you choose, you can lift your head and turn it opposite of your knees, away from your knees. Let your body soften and descend into the support of the bolster and the floor. Soften the muscles of your your time in Shavasana to allow your body, mind, and heart to integrate your practice and whatever has been going on in your life.
Send your breath out to your toes and your fingers. Start to move in those places. And stretch your body. And slowly roll to your right. Press into your hands, come slowly back up to seated. You may choose to sit on your bolster if you'd like, or to sit on your blanket or on the floor. Close your eyes and sit tall. Again, with heavy sitting bones, lengthen your spine. And notice the shift that's taking place. support you in integrating all that comes into your life. May you use what is necessary, what is helpful, and release the rest so that you are a clear vessel for the power of life, the power and energy of the life force to move through you. is supportive to you today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you. Please subscribe and like this video. And also, please go out and support your local yoga teacher. If you're in Richmond, Virginia, please come to class with me. I invite you to join me. If not, visit your local teacher. May your practice support you all the days of your life to open your heart 